Um, just a, a thought on, uh, I know it's just a one scrimmage game, but a chance to you know, play a little bit with, uh, with you. Yeah, um, exceptional talent. I mean, I, I probably see what, what you guys see immediately. Um, he skates like the wind. Uh, he's got a head for the game. You, you know, you see him in the last couple weeks when we were skating, when captain skates, uh, his skill level and, and uh, um, you know, kind of just how he carries himself, trying to get to know each other, I think, off the ice. And um, I think that'll bode well for a partnership on the ice. But uh, there's not too much I got to say here, I really do. I just go out there and do my thing and, and kind of let him do his thing and know that uh, um, when he has the puck between the two of us, it's probably a better thing. <laughs> Uh, one of the things DJ said is that maybe to put him with you is that you know you've played in this league and mm -hmm. often as a top four guy and that maybe if he has questions he can come to you. Has he has he come to you with any kind of questions? Yeah, um, I mean not necessarily in the formal sense, but uh, uh, pick my brain here or there or just kind of talk about maybe some of DJ systems, uh, um, you know things like that. But I'm sure as camp moves along, it'll it'll develop more. And kind of like I said earlier, is I think that once we get that line of communication really open off the ice. Um, where we become extremely comfortable with one another, then that will fold really well for our partnership on the ice. But um, he's, for a young player, he's obviously he's, everyone has written and known about his skill for so long. I don't have to really speak much on that, but uh, um, as, as a defensive partner for veteran presence who's been around, um, as I would humbly say I have been, um, there's not really too much i got to do. Kind of stay out of his way, give him the puck, and be back there if he needs some help. Travis, how do you like that mentorship role? Yeah, well, I mean, I, I think it just kind of suits my style a little bit. Um, at this point in my career, I, I know what I am as a player and, and what I can do and what I can help and, 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 and how I can help a team win, I should say. And, and, and with that, how I can help a defensive partner. And, and when you got a player like Jake and his caliber and um, his skill level, um, you just got to kind of be there to help support him all over the ice. And I think he's at his best when he's moving the puck, getting up the ice, moving his feet, um, being engaged. So. For him to play that style, I think it's important for him to know that I'm going to be back there um, to try and help and, and, and let him know that he can take those chances offensively and be aggressive when the time presents himself and, and know that uh, uh, hopefully he has a comfort in me and, and, and knowing that I can do my job back there uh, to pull my weight on the pair as well. What's your sense of just the, the blue line as a whole, I guess, is the role? Yeah, I, I think we we got a lot of good parts uh, back there. I think everyone kind of brings something a little bit different. Um, you know, so I think it's exciting. I think there's going to be some healthy competition for some spots, um, both on the roster and jockeying up and down to some parents. So I think whenever you can have a competition like that and, and, and internally throughout your team, not just in camp, but quite frankly throughout the season, I, I think that that's what helps. You know, uh, as much as we're a team and, 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 and that stuff, internally we all compete as well. And we, we want to play, and, and I think when you got a, a, a decor that, that all believes in one another and, and wants to push each other to be better, um, I, I'm sure that makes the coach's job maybe a little bit harder, but in, also in a sense maybe a little bit easier because uh, you got a, a ton of options in front of you, and I think that's kind of what we have here with our group. You, you got a taste of it last year. Does it does it help having coming in a little oh, yeah. more familiar? Big time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, um, uh, it, that was a blessing uh, to be able to come at the deadline. Really get to uh, get to know the team, uh, the organization. Most importantly, my teammates. Uh, to get really familiar, comfortable, um, and then even just the surrounding areas. Uh, you know, it was pretty busy at the end of the year, and and so for us, we came. My daughter, uh, I got a daughter and, and a son, and my daughter's in school this year, so we came out uh, a handful of weeks early to get comfortable, get settled in the neighborhood, and and uh, it, it's really an unbelievable place. And, uh, certainly fits our lifestyle and our pace of life and, and people here have been great so um, you know looking back on it when, when the trade happened it was, it was a blessing because it gave me an opportunity to get in early and I think I'm someone who um, once once I'm at my best is when I'm comfortable uh, in my surroundings both on and off the ice and with my teammates so to kind of get the leg up last year in that sense uh, I was very grateful for it. Yeah, yeah, mais chaque, chaque partenaire et chaque joueur, c'est un peu différent, mais euh, il y a des similarités de, de Noah Hannafin, je pense, un peu. Euh, tu sais, ce sont, sont des, des gros garçons, c'est de la patinoire, puis ils patinent pas mal bien, puis il y a des, euh, des skills offensifs que, que c'est des choses que moi, je peux pas faire avec la rampelle. So, euh, il y a des similarités, je pense, mais je pense que chaque joueur, c'est un peu différent, puis... Un joueur comme Jake, c'est un bon joueur. C'est un vraiment bon joueur. Tu 
Oui, des fois, je pense, euh, pendant que la saison se, se commence à dérouler, puis euh, le camp commence à, à venir, là, je pense qu'il va y avoir des questions qu'il va peut-être me poser, mais officiellement, c'est pas comme euh, on s'assoit l'un et l'autre, puis euh, il demande euh, 10 questions, mais c'est des petites choses euh, pour notre système ou euh, des, des joueurs qui sont notre équipe ou peut-être des joueurs qui sont d'autres équipes que je peux aider. Euh, je vais les aider, mais euh, c'est un garçon, c'est un joueur qui était à la toute la partie de sa vie, puis euh, pas grand-chose, je pense que je, je vais être capable de lui dire qu'il ne connaît pas déjà. Est-ce que c'est plus au niveau mental, peut-être, que tu peux être un grand frère pour lui, mentalement? <rire> ben, je sais pas. Ben, tu sais, euh, il est jeune. Tous les joueurs, maintenant, sont, sont pas mal jeunes, tu sais. Mais c'est un joueur qui, comme j'ai dit, dans l'entour de l'aréna, euh, puis les équipes, là, toute sa vie. Puis, euh, je pense pas qu'il y a grand-chose que je vais, les, je vais m'asseoir puis dire à lui. Je pense que moi, je peux, euh, sur l'autre côté, je pense que moi, je peux apprendre des choses de lui. Euh, puis, moi, je pense que je vais essayer de faire ça aussi. En même temps, il y a beaucoup de... Beaucoup de choses que je pense qu'il, que lui peut faire, puis euh, peut-être je ne vais pas faire assez bon que lui, mais, mais si, si je peux euh, commencer à peut-être euh, mettre un peu de, de ces choses dans mon jeu, peut-être ça va aider aussi. Travis, juste une dernière question. Vous êtes venu l'année dernière, vous avez senti le vibre sur le team l'année dernière. Vous avez senti qu'il y a des expectations plus hautes sur cette groupe? Oui, bien sûr. Vous avez vu les additions que nous avons faites pendant le temps de l'année. Uh, as you're watching those additions happen um, in live time, essentially, it's, it's getting really excited for the season. And I think you start gearing up for the summertime and, and get your training ready. And, and uh, you can see the changes that, that were happening on our roster. And um, you can sense it when you get back into town, the vibe and, and how uh, the expectations have changed. And for us internally, I think uh, the most important thing is we're going to demand a lot of each other um, and a lot of ourselves and a lot of our team. And, and uh, We know where we want to get to, um, and it's going to be a process for us this year, but we're going to work, and, and we're going to hopefully get there. Chuck, the last few years, you've averaged around, kind of like around 20 minutes a night. I'm yep. wondering, is that uh, kind of a fair workload that you would, you know, you're ready to take that type of workload? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think you're always ready to play as much as, as, as you want, and I, I think, uh, um, you know, the last couple of seasons were a little bit different uh, uh, for me. Um, you know, this is my first training camp in two years, so that's that'll be good. Um, for me to get ready for the season, but uh, you know, I'm ready to play whatever role DJ needs, whatever role the team needs, whether it's 20, 15, 24, whatever it is. Um, and I would imagine that might fluctuate from game to game or week to week, or and quite frankly, with how I'm playing. You know, if I deserve more ice time, then I'd hope I get the opportunity for it. And if I don't, then I understand I got to work harder to get it. So whatever the team is needing for me, uh, you know, at this point in my career, I, I want to be a um, very solid player and I want to be someone that contributes. And, and uh, You know, I'm proud in, in, in my skill level and what I can offer, and, and I hope the team feels the same way as well.